Hey everyone, it's James here. So it's been quite a while since I've done a video, but I've just had a few requests to do a video on how to map MicroStation um, tags into Vault. So that's what we're going to do today. Just a quick video. I'm just not going to talk too much about the drafting and all that sort of stuff in MicroStation, just pretty much the bare essentials of what's required in, in order to do that mapping. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have downloaded and installed the plugin. So uh, you'll be able to find that plugin in Vault. If you go to Vault and then you go to the App Store and then you launch the App Store's website, you'll then be able to find the MicroStation plugin that's relevant for your version of, um, of Vault. Um, yeah, just be aware some plugins may not be available yet if you're running 2020 or 2021 or whatever you're up to and um, and you're an early adopter, then you may not be able to find the one you're after. But um, yeah, just make sure you find the right version um, and install it. So once you have the, um, you've downloaded the correct version uh, of the plugin, you'll need to install both the client side and the server side. So the client side, in, it gets installed wherever you have the, um, the MicroStation running that you, and it's just basically a plugin for MicroStation. That's really all it does. Um, and the server side is the more important one when it comes to mapping. So you'll need to install the server side onto your Vault server, your ADMS server. This is my ADMS server, and you can see I've installed this guy already. Once you've installed that, um, you don't really have to do any other config. We don't have to do any other configuration to the Vault server. All you have to do is install this. That's it. Now, um, bear in mind you may need to reboot your server after you've installed it. Um, it took me a reboot before um, the DGN provider was actually um, available in my Vault client, which we'll talk about in a moment. But you, you may, as I said, you may need to reboot your server after you install that. Um, it. That certainly was the case for me. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, I've got my vaults, and I'm just going to jump into MicroStation. I've set up a drawing here. It's a really basic one. Um, it's just a title block, and um, it's yeah, super basic. So the first thing I need to do, and I'm just going to talk you through this, just so you can see start to finish the the bare minimum that's required in order to set up this. First thing I probably should do is uh, is log into Vault. Just make sure, and it's probably a good idea to automatically log yourself in every time. Um, so I'm logged into Vault. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a tag set. So I'm going to go to Elements, Tags, and Define. So the tag set is actually what the Vault looks for when um, when doing the mapping. So I make a new tag set. So MS tag set. OK, and I'm going to add my tags now. So title, drawing number, scale. I'm not actually going to map all of these, but I might as well just enter them all here now. Uh, drawn by, I think that's all of them. That'll do for now. OK, so we have our tag set defined. Um, that's great. The next thing we need to do is place our tag set in. So I'm going to go to Tools, Text, Tags, and then Attach Tags. So place those in. Um, I'm not going to associate them with anything. Just place them in wherever I want them. I can then go ahead and just move them around wherever I want them to be. Uh, let's scale. I'm not going to worry too much about what's right and wrong here. It's just getting the job done. All right, so all of those are placed in now. Uh, that really is like all you really need to do is do that. Um, but I'm going to make a cell out of it now. Um, so cell tool set and then go to cells. I want to define a new cell library. Um, cells. And I'm going to select everything, define an origin, and create that as a cell. As you can see, uh, it's all pretty straightforward so far. You're going to place that into the drawing somewhere. Uh, you probably should define that a bit better when you do 
your cell definition, but you get the idea. All right, so that's that. That's all I need to do. Um, close out of that. I'm going to edit my tags. So, uh, drawing title uh, A, B, C, one, two, three, scale one to one, grab A, shapes. Okay. You can see all that's in there. Now, I don't want it to get confused between uh, this tag set and this tag set, so I'm just going to remove this one over here. So, just delete all this. I don't really want any of that in there. Just to add confusion when I'm checking it in, so I just want that tag set in there once. So, that, uh, that should be everything. All I need to do is now is check that in. Um, check it into Vault using my check-in tool. In my vault toolbar. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so you can see it's a new drawing. Um, make sure you save before you check in. Um, but yeah, get it saved, check it in, and um, yeah, give it a second to check in. All right, so now we're in Vault and we can see we have a new drawing in here. Uh, we, I have set up a category uh, with some properties here ready to get mapped to, but, um, but they haven't been mapped yet. So let's go and do that. Jump into properties. I'm not gonna talk about how to uh, set up user-defined properties in this one. Uh, you better find information on that in a different video. So um, jump into your mapping, and you can see you now have a DGN provider, and this is um, this is because we've got that server end installed. Um, so if you don't have the server end installed correctly, then this will not work. Um, as I said, for me, I needed to reboot my server, and then it popped up and it was available. But um, you might not need to do that. I don't know. Now we go and select the file that I've just checked in and you will be able to see now I've got um, MS tag set and title. These are how I do my mappings. So that's, um, that's them. I'm just gonna map a couple of them. It's gonna re-index, slow things down a little bit, but that's okay. And if you don't close the properties window, you'll see these stay available, which is good. I don't have to go and pick up my file every time. I'll just do one more. All right, that's all I'll do for now. It'll uh, it'll give you the point. So. Um, Instead of me waiting for that to re-index and find the properties here, I'm just going to give it a bit of a push, delete it from Vault. Um, I'll jump into my local workspace and turn the read only off on that drawing um, so I can go and check it in in MicroStation once more. So back in MicroStation now, check in. Okay, and you can see the file, uh, it, the Vault thinks it's a new file and that's because it's been deleted from Vault and I've turned the read only off on the local file. So I can go and check it back in. It'll do the check-in. Check-in's done. And now let's go and have a look at the Vault. So we can see our file is being checked back in. There's the file there and you can see all the uh, all the mappings have worked so that's um just a super quick super easy video on how to do the um the mappings from a dgn into vault um yeah as you can see pretty straightforward hope that was helpful thank